Hello and welcome to tonight's stream featuring TBD versus Night Witch's Siren Squadron. I am your caster, Vigor Lucid. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me in tonight. And let's go ahead and get the normal things out of the way. So tonight will be Mexican-style food tonight is what we're going to be serving up on the platter whenever any team achieves you know, victory tonight. But for tonight's drink, though, we are going a little more sophisticated as we will be doing a little bit of wine drinking tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Mmm. So cheers to you and yours and the family and all the best of things in life. So I hope everyone's doing okay. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. We're almost to the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and by the way, whenever I do drink wine, I do so appropriately. Uh, we we got to have bottles, baby. Bottles. Got to have the bottles. So, uh, no, all that was not drank tonight. It has been drinking and drinking or drunk in moderation. All right, so. Ah, but here we go. Uh, also, as you can see in the side of the stream, you can actually see your messages. Right, it's over here now. Your messages getting posted. So feel free to talk smack so that when the other teams review the, the stream, they can see what everybody's saying. I like to see some good stuff coming out there tonight. So I'm not the only one with catchphrases and things like that. So, but yes. All right. So let's get the tortillas warmed up. Let's go ahead and get the beef on the grill. Let's see what's, what's be popping in the game tonight. So... Let's go ahead and I'm going to pull this up here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get to that. Get to that. And hit. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Let's get it going, people. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right. So, join. This is how you're supposed to do it. Not Tom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, right here, I can't tell you what the password is. Okay. <laughs> Last last time I went over here like uh this did did, did and I clicked this little guy right here. Yeah, let's not do that this time. So <laughs> here we go. Let's go ahead and jump into this bad boy. All right. <clears throat> uh Maze, great to see you. Hopefully you recovered from that amazing triple quad team that they got on you. That was an amazing, amazing feat of destruction they got. So glad to see you in the chat tonight. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, so in the shoot for the Galactic Empire, we're going to have Flash Shifter, Speedo Light, Not Tom, What's Up Doc, and Kaz. And then on the Niwi team, we're going to have running, obviously not randoms, lazy, just say New Republic. We're going to have Professor Autumn, Kidster, Ska, of whom apparently I have to uh, silence tonight. He will not be mentioned at all, nor will we be watching him fly at all. Uh, but JC and Slacks, this is going to be quite impressive to see. Okay, I am looking forward to this matchup. Um, I'm very glad again. Then thank you very much for letting me cast it. And oh gosh, here we go. Let's see. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Matching leotard uniforms. Oh gosh, that is so amazing to see. Look, I'm so proud of them. This is already going to be an epic stream just by this right here. Look at them. Oh, they're beautiful. Let's no Susan. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, yes, no. I'm, yes, yes. Don't tell us no. We don't want no. We want yeses. There you go. A little do 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 do. Yeah, baby. All right, Empire. Uh, really? I think they're just doing it in spite. They got to be doing it in spite of. How hard is it, folks, just to do one thing? You have one job, people. One job. But no. No, we're going to have to sit there. Okay. Okay. Ah, frustration's over. They're looking serious tonight. They're very, very, very serious. All right, here we go. Exactly. You fly better in matching uniforms and shifts. Exactly. So already, Niwi gets the win for amazing coordination and teamwork. They're going to form Voltron. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Uh, uh, you know, leotards do, except for some reason. Why can't men wear, wear uh, leggings? If women can wear it, why can't men wear leggings? This is a hot topic I've been, I've been trying to talk with about my family and stuff. What if I want to wear leggings one day? You know? What if? If I want to wear leggings, why can't I? All right, moving on. <laughs> Here we go. So, coming out of the 
MC70. Okay, we're going to wait, maybe. Here we go, fine, okay. Ooh, boy, that was getting scary there for a second. I didn't think it was going to work there. All right, come out of the MC75. Ah, Niwi Siren against Idiot's Array TBD. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. It's going to get nasty. All right, so we got Slacks over here in a standard loadout Y-Wing. Professor Autumn. Hey, wing, baby! Here we go. It's going to get nuts with this. We're going to be following Autumn a little bit more than what we should. Uh, but again, standard loadout. Shut up! What are they doing with this? B-Wing? They coming out with a B-Wing? And of course, JC with the standard support. Da -da -da -da. Yep, all standard stuff there. Um, except Matt. Uh, mask. He's got mask. Resupply masks. Interesting. No marks. All right. And Kaz is doing the standard. Uh, yep, standard there. Standard, yep, standard, not Tom Standard, Speed of Light, standard. And, and okay, so we've got Mask here and recent, or, uh, Heal for the tight, tight Interceptor here. So let's see if he can't finish off Slacks over here. Come on, get JC, you gotta get, or not say that, but yeah, that person. Shoot him! Come on, he's got 24, he needs a resupply, but guess what they don't have? They don't have resupplies on the New Republic side. Niwi said, I don't want resupplies, I'll take the, oh, that was a resupply. Did I miss something? Did I miss, I had to have missed that, did I miss it? Why does that look like mask? Oh, there's resupply on the left. I'm an idiot, don't worry about me, I have my moments. Okay, so, Slacks did get the resupply, but it was to no avail. So right now, though, they did get the flip, and so uh, Niwi is on their first attack. Not a full attack bar on this one here. So as they get down, and Fister is just getting smoke-checked. Okay, that boy needs to go back and do some push-ups, get a little strength in them arms, because he is not moving like he should, and like we know he can. But here comes the B-Wing, locking in and loading, and he puts some heavy damage down on that little frigate right there. So the, the light cruiser just taking a beating right there from that B-Wing. Oh, he's making sure he's got his sight on target. Pops his chaff right there. Coming around, coming around. Where's he at? Speed of light's coming around at him. Going after the Corvette, taking care of that. I'm surprised he's not doing a little more PK activity, but not Tom's finishing that off, and they got the flip. There we go. No need for the PK when he got such a little morale to go after. So, Niwi needs to back off and get in defense mode, or should have already been there. But here we go. He, oh, he's staying in. Come on now. Where are you going? Where are you going, Sky? Sky's going to try to do some PK in a B-Wing. Good luck trying to get that defender. You might as well go pick something else because they are just going to come in and they're going to start ripping it. All right. Oh, we've got a dung on Kaz. Kaz needs to get in. Go, 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 go. Someone has to back him up. They just got shields. They're almost down. It's been marked. Just got to get them shields down. One more ion missile will do it. Professor Autumn and that A-Wing is definitely out there born like it calls them chaos and mayhem. Mayhem and chaos. Whichever one comes first, like the chicken and the egg. Which one do you think it is? So, but okay, here he goes. Going after Kister, trying to slow down that farm. He's taking some damage himself, so he's going to have to sit there and pop his heels, which that'll help out right there. And Autumn is just going out with the rocket barrage, baby. Rocket barrage. <laughs> Took a quick second though and said, you know, second thought that good movement right there. So as he's coming around, uh, yeah, 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 I guess the B Wing's torch not having marks it isn't a bad call, but definitely one for the ISD phase though. Fame, you are absolutely right in that statement right there. So let's get back in on that B Wing. He's still doing some PK. I just don't get get on there and put some damage in. They are about to, you know, win this, uh, win this flip here. So. TBD does not have much more to work on here, so they have to fall back and defend. So, a little bit of work getting done here from everybody. It seems to be a very even matchup right now. Oh, he's got the dunk. Can he get the finish? Can he get the finish? And he got him. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very nicely done. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is textbook right there for those wanting to know how to get it done in that fashion right there. So Cosmo's over here getting the shield stripped on the Corvette. Working on that. But let's check out what that B-Wing's doing. That B-Wing's over here is putting down the hammer. Kister's coming around in his Y-Wing. Going to see what he can do to get some of that done. 
A lot of damage getting put down on it. Dropping down them multi-lives. You got two of them off instead of the full salvo. He's got to move, though. He's about to get burnt like a crisp baguette cookie, baby. A oh, biscotti. It's biscotti cookies. That's what it is. Either way, holy cow. And get around there. Okay. And what's JC? JC's trying to get to resupply the kisser. He gets it out and gets it in time. Nicely done. So Kister can stay alive. Professor Austin can come out and continue to rocket barrage that type bomber. Bye bye, not Tom anymore. He's going to change his name to from not Tom to Tom was never anything. Good lord, that was a mess right there. Slats coming in, still putting the damage in on those cruisers. It's down to 70 and 69. That bottom one, yeah, just get a little bit more and it'll be all right. But go ahead and I wouldn't mess with that much anymore. So, but how is Autumn coming into this mess? Looking, looking, looking. Okay, done with that. Not Tom's coming back into the mix here. They still need to get more AI and get that flip going. It is a slow, slow flip for TBD. They are moving slow on this. I mean, Niwi basically is just able to sit back and just do all the damage they want. They might even get the other one out of phaseable and allow the flip to happen. This down to 22, so it is out of phaseable. So it's, and that Corvette is still up? What? Wow, they better hold up. They better hope they kill that Corvette. They better hope that TBD kills the Corvette. Because it's still up and it's doing damage. Oh, they finally got the Corvette down. Come on, come on. Can he get him? He's going after Kister. Oh, got the resupply right as he was just getting pummeled. Right, that was beautiful timing. Beautiful timing by JC on that. And Kister still just dancing around. Oh my goodness. There's so much action going on here. What's, what's going on with Slacks? Where's Slacks going on? Sl Slacks, what are you doing? The call has been made finally to fall back. So they're going to get the two out of phases. Slack, so I guess was just hiding. Come in there and drop it. I was about to say, you did you, did, you didn't do much damage. So he's going to get the out of phase regardless. So they have Neely, or I'm sorry, um, TBD really needs to come in here and go strong on these on these ships here. You got to get the, you got to get these cap ships down farther. It's down to 27, 26. They're going to get both cruisers, and they're going to get half morale already done. And then they're going to get the Dagon Corvette and, or Raider and start flipping, get ready for the flip on that one. So just a couple more AI or a PK or two, and that's all they really need. All right, so. Boost Drift. Does, does Speedlight know how to boost Drift? Someone ask him. All right, but here we go. What's up, Doc? We know he's what in the world? Okay, Caster's Curse right there. I'll take the blame for that one. What happened with that? Dear gosh. Just sit there. Oh, you better start dancing. You better start dancing. So they've almost got the morale flip back in their favor here. Slacks is out doing some more looking around stuff with that. Ooh! Sky's on him. Sky's on him. Let's get over here to Sky's view. I know I said I wasn't going to. Ah! Whoa! What in the world? Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Ah. Okay, there we go. Sky's it. All right, and Sky's already in on the attack. Wow! Beautifully done! Beautifully done right there. Shields are already down on the ISD. This It is time to go to work, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we're talking, that's some fajitas getting mixed up and sizzling now. We got the ISD going. They've already had their chips and salsa. The fajitas are on the grill, and they are getting cooked up. Let's see what type we got going on. Ooh, wow. That's an overburn right there. That's too hot a sauce. Back off that hot sauce. That sucker was cooking. Oh my gosh, I gotta take another drink. This is getting good. This is getting nice missile intercept right there. Beautifully done. So here we go with this situation. We got a resupply that is much needed. History is trying to get around and move around and stay alive. Now Tom is coming back in and is sitting there to Is he AI farming? Yes he is. Good, 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 good. I just see the AI is going. So, but it is getting pummeled. It is getting pummeled hard, ladies and gentlemen. That Star Destroyer shields are not there. It's already down less than half percent on this. So they are having a difficult time. They are having a very difficult time with this. 
It's the flip issue right here. They just can't stop this New Republic attack. The flip is just serious, and it is not coming in fast enough. They've got the dung on, on Slacks there. Can he finish it? Nope. He just gets out and just keeps on going like it never even, it was ever even touched. What's up, dogs? Around searching. More AI. Just one more AI. One more AI. And it flies past him. Here we go. The call's been made to get the frigate assault on. They've got to get something going. I mean, it is just all in their favor now to lose this. In fact, actually, ladies and gentlemen, never mind. The heat isn't fully cooked. Let's go ahead and get them tortillas out. Throw some corn and sour cream on it. It's time to eat on that game right there. So game one goes to Niwi Siren. Let's 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 take a look at these nasty stats. And I say nasty because it's gonna be about as nasty as what's gonna be left over after you get done with them cream corn salsas. All right, now <laughs> my wife just looked at me really, really nasty. Like she's like, you are terrible. So will you ever have cream corn salsa? Well, it's the same going in as it is coming out. Moving on. The cap ship damage by Niwi is just so spread out nicely. Look at that damage right there. It is so spread out nicely. Very little AI or um, uh, PK kills. Six from Shifter. Very nicely done on that. But that's like all you focused on. You know, we needed more cap, cap ship damage. But again, the flip was just not coming fast enough. And Niwi was able to easily clean that house out pretty darn quick. So that's the way that first one looks like right there. Okay, so... Woo! That was crazy. I was having trouble on that one. I know Autumn had only one kill. It's 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 crazy what we're seeing here. Um, oh. <laughs> where do you go with that one? Well, I'll tell you where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right here and give me another 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 refill here before we jump into the next one. Lord Almighty! So get that, yeah. The long port. Uh huh. There we go. So match thoughts. Anybody? Nothing. Mine was just not enough. I don't know. I have to go back and actually watch it. Why is it Niwi had so much time on their attacks? That's just that's baffling to me. Hmm. No TBD because um, they only had one bomber to kill. <laughs> Uh, yes, 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 yes. Very much so on, uh, ES was loco. ES was extremely loco. I mean, that's just, yeah. So, all right. They have already got the next match up and ready. Um, let's see here. You know what I just realized? I had the wrong game set up there. Um, it was actually, Niwi was New Republic on that first one. I had that backwards. That's my fault, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for that. I, I will I will stand by for a good flogging later on. Um, as some of you may not know what flogging is. That's where you take a, a whip and you, you, you just go, yeah, it's flogging type situation. All right, I'll let y'all have fun with that last part right there. Let's go ahead and jump into this next one. Do, 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 and transition. Button, button. Where, where's the where's the button? There it is. Found it. <laughs> okay, there it is. All right, transitioning. Okay, again. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Let's go to Ska here. Join as a spectator, and you cannot know the password. No, you can't. Neither can I. Uh. Gotcha. Okay. It is. There it is. And here we go. All right. We are ready. Yes, oh, we are. So we got. Uh, wow. Okay. Ah, sorry about the mouse. The mouse again. Doing the mouse thing. All right. So, ah, gosh. Get proper. Get a. Forbes, y'all know, go. Oh you need to go to see the supply chief, and y'all got to discuss something about this. I, I, you know what? Cosmo, we got Beach. That you know what? What's up, Doc? Not Tom. I'm just, yep, yeah, moving on. I'm, come on. And 
Yeah. Couple of little cosmetic changes here. Like, Sky's got different little gloves, but that's okay. I like it. I like the purple. I like the purple. I can't I can't argue with that. Ah. Uh. The tie interceptor PK by them was actually really disruptive. Props to them for getting some kills that first defense. Yes, very much so, Autumn. Um, they they stopped you Not from your PK. It was quite interesting. You know, I was just bouncing everywhere trying to keep up with the action. Um, so I hope I, I do better trying to keep up with the, with the action on this one. Uh, <laughs> it was so much just going on. I couldn't tell who was actually PKing, who was trying to AI farm, who was... PKing the AI farmer and who was trying to defend the AI farmer and just oh my gosh. So and I swear I thought I saw a squatter mask. I swear I did, but I could be wrong. But either way. Oh sorry, I did it again. I did it again. Dang damn it, stop it. I gotta stop that. Alright. Here we go. Oh wonderful boss star. Haven. Such a beautiful place. Yes, it is. So serene, so beautiful. Love the layout of it. One of my favorite maps. It really, really is. So much versatility in how you uh, play the mag play the game, and, uh, and it's just really a lot of good fun. So here we go. Coming out of the MC-75. What's up, dog? Bleach. Zyphaz. Not Tom. And Kaz. Kaz again, I'm going to assume. Yep. Resupplies. And... Okay, am I, am I being stupid? Is that Marks? Or is that freaking Mask? I can't freaking tell anymore. What does he have? What is Kaz flying? Oh, Beach is coming out A-wing in it. Oh, he's trying to pull, pull a professor on him. That's great. Not Tom, Y-wing standard all out. Okay, it is Marks. Thanks, Josh Benz. I, I don't know why I'm thinking Mask. I, I think it'd be cool to do Mask, but no, it's, it's Marks. Okay. Zyphas as well. Uh, yep, same load out there. Kidster coming out. Tie Defender. Decent setup there with some standard load out. Standard load out again for st side stack. Slax has got standard load out. Standard loadout for Ska and JC. Standard loadout there. You know what? I bet you that's why I think Marks are what it is, because I'm always flying Empire when I do support. That's right. So, yeah, that's why Marks look different. Anyway, moving on. So, we're still in the opening here with 50 seconds left to go, and everyone's dip, dodging, ducking, and diving, and right now we have... Niwi with needing to get some more AI, some more kills. They're about to lose this flip. Oh, very nice kill right there. Well, I mean, what a kill. It's, um, but it was a nice rocket attack right there. That was pretty. Beach is doing good now. Anyway, look at him go. Look at him go. So they're on the attack. And he's... Ooh! Barely got lucky with that right there to get the, the chap out there. I'm just going to follow... I got to follow this around for a second. I want to see it. I want to see it. Get side stacks together. He is just destroy. Re uh, get a resupply to side stacks, please. Anybody? He's trying to do the farm. He's throwing them big on rockets out there like crazy. Get it in there. Come on. This is there. He goes. Finally gets beach. Get side stacks. Whoop! And there's the help coming in just a second too late. So, but what's up, Doc? Is already down. Helping get shields down. Is that a tractor beam? That's tractor beam. What's up, Doc? He's got a tractor beam. He's gonna try to <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh god, I can't wait to see it. So no resupplies. We have marks. But no resupplies. Beach got taken out. Zyphaz is now taken out. So the Maryland's already pretty much kicking and you know over towards Neewe pretty fast now. They just need to get the Corvette. And then a, you know, one more pack of AI. Actually Corvette will flip. Who's on the Corvette? Anybody on the Corvette? There it is right there. Corvette's down to 90. How dare I? How dare you, sir? Tell me how I dare. Oh, they just got to cook it. Cook it. Gets down to 40. Oh, watch that bonk. Oh, 13. Well, they got the flip, but boy, that hurt. Side stacks took one to the face. And he didn't do nothing but go straight to it. Hey, he face planted into that big old long cylindrical Corvette. Yeah. All right, moving on. Zoe Paz out here getting back in here on the farm so we can go get that farm going. 
so that flow could start going real fast. But I want to see where's our where's our res uh, marks coming in. Resupply getting popped out. There we go. And starting to work on them shields. Marks are. I can't, I don't know if you got marks in on the light cruiser. He might have. Ooh, a little blocked there, but he did get Slacks taken care of as far as that resupply goes. Slacks needs to work on that power management, get that boost drift, baby, boost drift. You're sitting still too long, sitting still too long. Got to keep going. Side stacks already got taken out. He's coming back out of the hangar now. Kickster is moving around. I think he's going to try to go after some pancake. It's on the same team when I'm telling you he's following the pancake. Not that he's going after pancake, but yeah, he wants beach. He, he's got to get that beach. Oh! Did they all just get hidden? They got mask. They do have mask. Okay, I am so confused. How do they all get masked? What the heck? The cosmic cats got God! Is it map? What the heck? Oh my gosh! What is going on in this match? We got two supports in this match now. I don't remember seeing that at the beginning. What the crap? Scott's trying to freaking fly around to stay alive, keep them shields going. Cosmo's all over him like white rice, glass, milk, paper plate, and a snowstorm. Dear Lord, that look painful. So yes, TBD is coming out saying we are not going down to this. You are not getting a 2-0 victory. We will split this just like I split your ice cream cake the other night. Um, yeah. Okay, moving on. All right, so split your... Okay, I was going to say it. I'll just say it anyway. I like I split your taco the other night. Ah, get it. Just you know, hold the guacamole and sour cream on it. All right, moving on. So what we got right here is Slash coming in. Go on ahead and get that Raider Burn. Go, 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 go on that Raider Burn. Its shields are not down yet. There go the shields. Now he's going to be clear to get that Raider Burn down. Is Beach going to come out and protect it, though? That's why I'm going to... Oh, look at him go. He's already on it. He's going to make sure that you got to dance to get my shit, baby. That's what he says. You have to dance like crazy to get it. Not Tom putting some more damage down. There goes the Goliath to get out all the turrets on the lower half. Nice. Or upper half. Nicely done. All turrets are down on the bo bottom and I think on the top as well. So nicely done there. What's up, Doc? Uh, it's helping out. Oh, he's got a tractor beam going. He's got... Oh, did he escape the tractor? He's escaping the tractor. You know, got to get out of here. Side stacks trying to escape that tractor. Oh, it slowed him down. Oh, my goodness. He's down to 29. Come on. I want to see it. I want to see it. Give it to me. Yeah, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Tractor, 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 tractor. No. I'm not very patient here. There's so much else going on. Because Beach is now coming back in. Corvette's been taken out. Woo, that was crazy. All right, so Cosmo's coming around. Uh, but yeah, Beach is going to be way out here. Zyphaz, what's going on in your world? He's coming in. He's got a last little bit of attack here, trying to get that Corvette's uh, hold down a little bit more. What was that? That was pretty whatever for the flip, but dear lord, that was a lot of click, 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 click. All right, so Kister is now on the attack here. Screaming around, it kind of made me a little busy to watch. That was a nice little boost drift. Yeah, again, disappearing. They got marks. It's amazing to see. Marks everywhere doing that. that dung right there it missed. He's just gonna keep on going trying to get that out of phase. Can he stop the out of phase from taking place? Looks like he's holding back. He's gonna he's gonna turn back in. He'll, he's got one bang on it. Too late on the uh chaff there. Well done there. Now he's just gonna move in and start doing the cap damage. Nope, he's gonna go after beach again. He's going after beach. Okay. The side stack's gonna move in, do some nice boost drift there. Nicely done. Do it again. Do it again. He's got a resupply. That kind of messed him up here. It seemed like on his boost drift, but that's okay. Here we go. Can he just go down the side here? Yep. Get a little more damage done. Boost drift, baby. Come on. There you go. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice, nice, nice. Scott's still popping around that tight defender trying to do as much as he can. It's down to nine, seven, four. They're going to push through. They're going to push through. Come on, tell me they're pushing through. They're going to push through. They're saying no way. We want this biscuit. That's right. We want them rice, the beans, and the biscuit. And yes, you actually have biscuit with your Mexican meal. It's actually pretty common to have a biscuit with Mexican food. Some people don't think so, but it's more like a fried biscuit because they don't really bake much in, in, in the Mexican food world, I, I believe. That's the only reason I know it's because I'm fat because I eat a lot of Mexican so, all right, now, moving back into this, JC's coming back into the match. 
And he's going to be looking to do something. What we got here now? If I was him, I'd actually be going around and taking a look and seeing what type of resupplies I can get. Because the assault on the frigates is getting ready to, to flip so that now you're going to be sitting back on defending your own. He's got marks out. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. He's got his target. So he's going to try to get their support so that they can have a better chance of taking it to them without having their ships laid down with the marks. Sky's putting some damage down there as well. Where's Beach at? So he's got to go after that last cruiser. Okay, let's get on. What's up, Doc? I'm sorry, not Doc. Uh, Zafaz. Let's watch the master at work here. If anybody knows how he flies, he flies deadly. Plain and simple. Him dip, dodge, dive, dive down. Oop, he got pegged pretty good from the rear. I hate it when that happens, especially whenever it surprises you. Kind of gives you a chill bone at the rear end there a little bit, but you okay. He's got his shields balanced, and they're recharging. And he's getting his lasers back as he's doing some shield skipping and boost drifting and boost. Uh, uh, yeah, all this. He's just doing it all. You know, I wonder, though, how do those foot micros really work for him? All right, so we got coming up here on um, Tom because everyone's going to be focusing on Zypass. Tom's got a free shot to come in and start putting some more damage here and get that out of phaseable, and or they just might also try to push through so that they can just have one defense against their ISD and be able to push right back against. I'm sorry, not a defense against the ISD, but against the MC. Yep, he's pushing through. All right, they have the first assault on the Star of Destroyer. Where is Cosmo? He is already up and in. He's watching to see if anybody's coming at him. Doesn't look like he looks like he's got a free shot in. And he's ready to pump something down. What's going on? What's go he's, he doesn't hit on heavy yet, does he? He's got the marks out. Yeah? Yeah? All right, so everything's out. Everything's marked. Here we go. Let's put it down to it. They're putting the damage down to it. Starter Shore's shields are now down. And they've got a pretty good, decent chunk of morale to do some very good damage. And this team can do it fast. Shields are down. Power's down. Power, power's down. Don't go after that, Tom. Don't worry about that, Tom. Keep moving. Go after the hull damage. Get the hull damage, Tom. Come on, buddy. That's all you need. Shields, shields do not do hull damage whenever you're shooting at them. So the call's been made to fall back. Now it is time for Niwi to put it down to them. So what's up, dog? Gets taken out in the onslaught. They're just selling out for it. They're trying to do something here because they are dancing around this ISD. Looks like, yep, they're selling out. Get out of there. Go defend. Where's JC at? JC's on the move. Raiders already coming in. Scott's half field right now. Got to get that last frigate down. Here we go. He's putting the damage down. 26, 25. It's time to get it rocking and rolling, people. Come on. Yeah, Slacks, you got plenty of time. I don't even know why you're just you know, boost drifting a little bit. Just sit there. Just a little bit. Just keep on letting down. Let the hammer go. I'll salt the MC-75 with a full morale bar. So, TBD was able to get some real good damage on the ISD with only one quarter morale bar, but Niwi has a full morale bar. And watch this move right here. Dips, down, staunch. Look at that. And there it goes. It's down to 40. He gets in and out. Very nicely done. The stats come in behind and finish. He's coming up underneath. Oh, and they got the visual left shield then down. There's Sky. Sky's working on um, disabling the visual right. Shields are down on the I on the MC-75. Now it's time to get that whole damage down. JC did get taken out, so there is no support on the field. But you, got, you just got to keep pummeling down on that whole damage. Looks like we've got a little bit of PK action going on there. Zyphez is trying to get taken out by Kickster's right. That's okay because he's trying to keep his Raider alive to do more whole damage, it looks like. So the shields just popped on Zyphaz. We saw that right there. As you saw the blue hue around his ship. So he had his convergence shields re-pop right there. So it's... Oh, Stax. Oh, I was going to try to see you were doing good. Side st Slax was getting taken out. And here comes Side Stack in there. Tongue twister there for a moment. Shields are down again. They've got Blister showing up. you got to start dancing. One more little hit and you're done for. And he's going to bonk to the flip. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be fun to see. Not Tom is going to be coming out of the MC-75 here shortly. Beast just got freaking nailed in the rear end again, so now he's got to go fully basive. Cosmo's coming up, trying to disable that shield gen. He gets dung. Ain't nothing happening there. Zyphaz, where you at? 
Zyphaz is way back here. What's up, Doc? Is in there, but he's shooting shields, not shield generator. How unfortunate. Shields finally do go down. And that shield gen's at 28, 22, 21. He's going to try to, maybe, on the next pass, maybe he's going to come at it. I don't know. But they got to they do more damage because if Niwi gets one more shot at this MC-75, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's going to take it out. It's down to 13 on that shield gen. The actual hole is... They got a lot of hole to kill. They got a lot of hole still left to kill. So they just got to keep popping it. Morale's already down half on that. Everybody's pretty much dead. It's like, oh dear lord. Was that a turret that got launched? That's a missile turret that got launched and it's putting the damage to the underside of that MC-70. I'm sorry, the ISD right there. That shield gen finally goes down. No hole damage for shield gen's destruction, but now they can get down. It's down to six, down to five. All right, people, the guacamole's been made at your table. That's what we're talking about right there. It's served up, ready to eat. Let's get it cracking. They split one to one. New Republic takes both games. Well done to both teams right there. Let's go ahead and pop over these scores and see what we got get, getting in here. So 53,000 cap chip damage and 38 AI kills from Not Tom is absolutely impressive right there. Zyphaz following that up with a little bit more cap chip damage as well as a little less on the uh, AI kills, but still both of them absolutely impressive work. What's up, Doc? Getting two kills with 56,000. Well, give him 57. You know, I like to round up on those close ones. 57,000 cap shift damage. Ska was just murking people and grabbing some cap shift damage as well. Five assists with seven kills. Come on, man. That's rookie numbers. You got to pump the numbers up, buddy. So absolutely fabulous. 92,000 from side stacks. 50,000 from slacks. I mean, the damage was just getting done everywhere. Niwi just ran out of time. That's what it came down to. Came down to the half flip right there at the beginning to the time left remaining. Absolutely fabulous by everyone to go for a 1-1 one -one split. Wow. What can you say to all that fun mess right there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can tell you what I can say. <laughs> it's interview time because I got questions. I got questions. I got questions. I mean, that would I'm almost, you just almost want to just take it straight to the lips. You know what I'm saying? Just, oh, you, yeah. But no, I'm a gentleman. I hate it when the, the wine's all gone. Hmm, good for the last drop, baby. Don't waste it. All right. Uh, much wide wing blood, Zyphez says in the chat, Discord chat, which there was. There was a lot of wide wing blood kicking around in that place right there. Lots of fun. GG's to all. Oh, my goodness. Oh. The A wing was on point. It was. Um, I, I was quite shocked with how that was actually moving around. So, very well done by every single person. Just. I got the only thing I'm just wondering about is um, TBD's initial first game with the M M Empire setup. It's like Niwi just stalled them. They couldn't get anything going. That's what I wanted. To... Uh, let's see if there's going to be any takers on the inter interview. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well played by all teams. Mm -hmm. Great pressure by everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, another little wine tip. When you drink wine, you know, a lot of people they'll, they'll tend to grab it from here. You don't want to do that. The stem is meant for you to actually grab it from down here so that the heat from your hand doesn't change the taste of the wine as you warm it up from the heat of your hand it'll change the change the flavor of the wine so you're actually that's what it's down here for mm. just a little 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 tidbit of information for you there uh. so if i can't get tbd up here straight from the box <laughs> Yeah, uh, box wine. Okay, if I'm in a NASCAR race, yeah, that's when I'll do that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, ah, contact issue. There we go. 
Uh, so Niwi's down below in interview too. So yeah, we will be talking with Kister and Professor Autumn a little bit. Uh, Flash Shifter, come on up. If only I had rights to click and drag people. You know, as a caster, I, if I could do that, that would be nice. If I had some type of privilege in the Squadron Champion League Discord to click and drag people. Hint. Fame. You know, dead weight. Just saying. Mm. Mm. Do -do -do -do. All righty. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That is a very weird Han Solo. I actually had to hover over that. Uh, oh, well, we got Kids and Professor Autumn ready to do an interview, so... Uh, all right, let's get the... Let's go ahead and go down there. So, all right, so... TBD is not wanting to do interviews tonight, I guess. They, they You know what? It might be they don't want to talk about game one because that would be what I would want to talk about with TBD in game one. And <laughs> I got to ask that question. And uh, by the by the question, I mean in genuine f format and fashion. How do you think it felt to actually stop the PK and the, the farming of of idiots array in game one to where you had so much time i can't wait to even go back and look at it it had to be over two minutes of time on one of those attack phases your second attack phase you had over two minutes of... yeah tell me about that well yeah. well it was a story of two phases really like if you look at our first attack which kudos to them they just stuffed it you just titled um, the whole whole stream the story of two phases <laughs> yeah, it, it was, um, they just stuffed it, and they they were running a solo farm, which, you know, is a choice you can do, um, and they concentrated on PK, and they got some picks. Thanks, I've asked for the raid. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the real story was, is that, as a team, I think we adapted really well, and in the second attack, they didn't get those picks that they were counting on for the morale. And so I was able to follow their bomber around a bit and slow them down. And between that, I mean, that sort of was my perspective of, of what of what jammed that up for them. Is that is it, that agree with you, Kidster? Yeah, I think when most teams run something, a similar lineup, <laughs> the interceptor is required to farm occasionally and I had to check the screenshot, but I don't think it got a lot. So I don't know if they were busy or had a different plan. But uh, yeah, and then I, I don't know if we, it was maybe it was only once, but at least once we were able to get the the Reaper kill kind of in transition, and then and then Autumn and whoever else was passing made it tough on that single farmer. So it gets tricky when that sequence happens which we were able to get get rolling yep yep definitely on that one um so i want to know about game two though what do you think of their uh coming out with with dual sports we expected that we weren't sh we thought most likely tractor beam so it's a little disappointing kind of someone on your team had a tractor beam definitely not why not though if it works Oh, should have. Yeah, <laughs> should have. Yeah, should have had that, a tractor sorry. beam. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. It should have had a tractor beam. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that it uh, it's so hard because there's so many interesting oxes on the U-wing, and so it just takes some time to figure out what all four of them are. So, gotcha. Mask is difficult to deal with, and threw us off, threw me off at least for sure. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, super it, disruptive it, they, they strategy. They used it really effectively. Yeah, I thought. And Barry, Barry Sachs is saying y'all did have the tractor beam at one point in time. I, that's why I was saying. I I thought I saw y'all had the tractor beam at one point in time. I want to say I did. But again, I got to go. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. I got to ask also, in game uh, one, 
seeing Ska come out in a TIE Bomber, what brought that into its existence? Not TIE Bomber, I'm sorry, B-Wing, B-Wing, yeah. <laughs> it's the wine, man. Particularly a game it's the wine. that would have been very hard. Um... <laughs> it's the wine talking right there. No, in the B-Wing, what, what brought, made y'all put Ska in the B-Wing? He's been running it for a while. We like it. It's um, synergy with the A wing, but no bombs. Huh? And, uh, uh, put bombs they kind of cover it. each other a little bit, and then he does a really good job of applying hull damage, kind of just throughout the match when he has a chance. And we like we have a good handle on kind of the tug of war between the resupply efficiency battle, if gotcha. you will. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Wings. Yeah, Ska's B-Wing is, is really efficient at uh, at balancing for some of the A-Wing's missing ions and things like that that, uh, that uh, you might otherwise have on the field. So having a B-Wing actually makes a lot of sense. And Ska makes it work, and he can make that thing dance if you've ever watched him fly it. It's kind of insane. I know when I'm like practicing against him, I, I hate trying to shoot at his B-Wing. So, um, I know I know it probably gave them some trouble, even though they are really PK focused. But like I say to the team, you know, even if you're going to go down, it's fine. If you go down, just make them take an extra five seconds, make them take an extra six seconds, mm -hmm. an extra 10 seconds, um, because the longer you waste their time, the more time you waste uh, on for their flex, you know, the better. And yeah, well, we came out ahead of that in game one, and not so much in game two. Is basically, you know. Yeah, exactly that. Story. I mean, Flash Shifter was only able in game one able to, to score six kills on y'all, you know, and it is just one of those impressive. And Autumn was only able to get one kill in the A wing. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a uh, there was a lot of murder going on just in general. <laughs> um, and you know, A Wing doesn't have to get kills to be effective. It can just just um, distract. It can distract, and it can hold down bombers with seekers and wasting, uh, you know, causing uh, the support to burn through resupplies. Obviously, as a flex player, I prefer to get kills. I like getting kills. Getting kills is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we like to see number go up. But <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the day. Um, you know, if you win the game, that's that's really what counts. And, you know, oh, 100%. Uh, the rest of us like to, team. we love to steal Autumn's kills. He gets everyone low and we just <laughs> get that last little poke in, you know. <laughs> but it's, uh, but it, it's good. Hey, and I got the kill on the Star Destroyer, so I was happy. You did. That. That's right. It was, it was. Yeah. You're, you're the one that brought the fajitas <laughs> to the to the dinner table on that one. So yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. So it was it was nice, uh, but uh, but um, yeah, it was uh, good games and and just props to TBD and even though we knew it was coming, you know, they still managed to like <laughs> nine bomber kills to eight. I mean, it was a murder fest all around. But in, in game two, they just really did a good job of executing their game plan and and stifling our flagship attack. That's. I know in the chat afterwards we're going to be looking at that probably and some other stuff and and review when we go to take a look at but everything that happened the good and the bad outstanding to hear yeah, so. i think i'd add to just i'm really what i've been really impressed with autumn's a-wing as we've kind of worked with it over the last few seasons that we don't like we obviously like it when it gets extra kills but it's not really something where planning on having and she does an extremely good job i think of like being more aggressive taking more chances when we when we need that if things are going wrong but also playing a little bit more conservatively and just having really strong field control and pressure when we're ahead and just need to kind of navigate ourselves to the finish line i think she kind of toes that line really well very nimble that's for sure very sure. So, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what games y'all got left for round two? We're playing Hive Guard. Hive Guard, Hive Guard. Yes. Mm. That is our next game. You'll see us by whoever's casting it on Friday. That's this Friday? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What time? Uh, 11 o'clock. Late night. Questions. Eastern. Hmm. 11. Hmm. I have no life on Fridays because uh, I, uh, you know, 
just real quick, my son told me, hey, Dad, I want to go uh, spend the day with my girlfriend. I'm done. So I was like, okay, have fun. But yeah, no, <laughs> we'll have a son. He'll be out with a girl. Gosh. Anyway, so, but yeah, no, I'll see if the, anybody else is not casting. I'll be uh, glad to do it if, if, if everybody be okay with that. So. Yeah, I don't know, but um, uh, thanks so. a lot for casting this one. Really yeah, actually, uh, Maze is jumping mm -hmm. in. Hive yep. Guard, really? But I was like, what, Maze, or, you know, he's just talking in chat here. Is, is Hive Guard not flying against him? No, it's Hive Guard. I mean, like, am I reading? I'm, I think I'm reading it right, right, Kidster? It's Hive Guard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, we all know Maze <laughs> sometimes can't read. It, it's just, you know, he don't read good. <laughs> he says no. Oh <laughs> okay. Well, we'll, well see. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> to be determined, <laughs> it will be TBD. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's there one way of looking at it. Anyway, thanks again for casting. Really oh, thank you all. Great fly tonight. GG's. Yeah, thank you. GG. GG's. All right, let's see if I can get at TBD in here. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Dead weight. Had to jump on a call. I missed everything after the first flip. Yeah. What'd I miss? <laughs> Fair sex. Murder. That's all he says. Murder. Yeah, I believe it. So, all right. Uh... There we go. Oh, Cosmo! Hey. What up, dude? Hey, what's up? You're just getting everything figured out as to what in the world was going on. So, oh my uh, goodness! Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I did. I didn't. Uh, I did listen to the previous interview, so I'm get me up to speed. Oh no, no, the previous interview was fine. Uh, as far as they just talked about them in regards to their game one and uh, how they felt their setup was able to really uh, set back your all's ability to get the flip back in your favor so you can go back on the attack in a, in a good fashion on, on that second attack there because that's what was baffling a lot of us. I'm sitting here just going, oh my gosh, the morale is not shifting back in into TBD's favor at all, really. It was s slow. So what, can you talk to us about yeah. talk, talk to us about that? What, what y'all figured out was going on? Yeah, yeah. So we... Uh... We went out in like an alphabet uh, lineup, so you know, like one of each ship, and like we, we, we just thought it'd be fun. Uh, what we kind of forgot about was that on applies the A wing, which is like when we have a solo bomber, that just that's just a recipe for failure on our, our end. It was a it was a fun game. We don't is, regret doing it. But... Is that your excuse and you're keeping it? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we we have no regrets. Like we, you know, we're we're here to have fun this season, but. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom by the end of the game maybe not, not as much fun for him <laughs> oh y'all just shows yeah we're going to come out in one you know everyone just choose a ship and we're just going to come out in the alphabet yeah we uh, we ran that against the Hellborgs uh, it's just they you know the Hellborgs don't have an A-Wing well actually no they did have an A-Wing but uh, uh, Minor uh -huh. is a little bit more of an OBJ A-Wing yep. so it, it was okay <laughs> so but game two that was interesting with the two support strat and tractor beam as well what what talk to us about all that uh yeah yeah we just yeah we've been kind of running that a lot this season it's in our it's in our logo so the tractor beam symbols in our logo y'all have a logo i don't know i don't pay attention Oh yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think we ever po posted it anywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say because if you did, then that's one thing I would love to add to my my stream to where I can actually have you know logos up and stuff like that of what's going on. So, yeah, uh huh, yeah. But that's something to work on for later. So, but yeah, no. That second match, y'all y'all brought it back into into perspective of reminding people who uh, Idiots Array is. That was absolutely amazing to see. Just the back and forth on that one. So. <laughs> yep, we uh we we aim to live up to our namesake. Uh huh. Yeah, beach with uh eight kills. Yeah, that was like stupid impressive. Eight kills in that. It was just left, right, up, down, slantways and sideways. Everywhere he was going, he was finding somebody to just mess up their day. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it, uh, second match was pretty straightforward and simple. The only thing again, like I said, threw me off was the two support strat. Which I hadn't seen, um, but again, you know, for round two here, I've uh, work has kept me very busy until these past two weeks, and so I'm able to actually 
sit back and do some casting now while the uh, CAJ finishes off the season because I haven't been flying much. But yeah, no. Um, what else? Oh uh, yeah, the, the the two support thing is just uh, yeah because we we have Doc and kind of the more aggro uh, huh? tractor support, and then uh, yeah, and then I run the match just to kind of try to keep some of the pressure off of our farmers. Oh, it was making I, I me think, laugh. Uh, yeah, that that one's actually a little bit less of a meme. That one's because uh, we still have PK, uh, yep. good PK pressure from the uh, the tractor U wing. The, the only problem is the the ion strip is a little bit rough. It took us it took us like I think probably like over a minute to get the shields down. No, oh, first attack. It, but, it it took a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wasn't going to bring that up on the on the on the first attack phase there, but yeah, it was taking a minute to get those shields down. Uh, whenever y'all yeah, was I was, in. yeah, I, I was the only I'm the only ion in that setup so that's yeah that, that's kind of the, that's kind of the trade-off so yeah i was also yelling at the game when i was watching um it, who was it was it not tom i want to say it was not tom it was uh shooting at you know whenever you had shields down and y'all just needed to put in hole damage and he was shooting at the other only shield gen left i was like just oh it was driving me nuts like as we all know, the whole shooting the shield gen does not de deplete the whole of the ISD or the uh, MC-75. So, but yeah. But other than that, everything was just so daggone good and entertaining. Fast and crazy. Second game. Um, first game, I don't know what to make of it still. I'm about to go back and rewatch it. I really am. So. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to run a rocket turret at the end. That was, that's always fun. Uh, you did. I uh, actually clipped it, or not clipped it, but I, I was on you whenever that happened. I saw I pulled you up on the on the on the view monitor, and I said, "Oh, and here here comes Cosmo. Is it, what's Cosmo going to come in here today?" And I saw you pop out a rocket turn. I was like, "Oh, he's coming out with AIDS." I didn't say it. I thought it, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to say that or not. If I if that'd be okay to say. Well, I just said it, so we'll find out. <laughs> Damn it! I'll, 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 I'll stand up for you, man. <laughs> So, but no, great flying though. It was again absolutely fun to see everybody out there having some blast and and some different stuff I hadn't seen. And up, oh, oh, there's the uh, idiots array logo. Okay, very nice. So the only thing uh, left critique wise I have for the idiots array, aka TBD, for the love of God, please, ten seasons of squadrons. Okay, of SEL, ten seasons. Okay. Matching uniforms. Can we get that done, please? Well, I mean, I think uh, I think having like unmatching uniforms kind of goes with our team name. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Beach, like that's not an idiot's array thing. Uh... <laughs> oh. Maze is poking the bear. Okay, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to cancel Maze. He's out. He's just putting in chat there. He's poking the bear of trying to stifle some things. So, mm -hmm. I'm watching you, Maze. Oh yeah. No, but no. Thanks very much for jumping in here for a, a quick little talk about the match. Anything else you want to add regarding the the matchup or or your opponents that you faced tonight that you did an amazing split on? Uh, yeah, I uh, just think yeah. Thanks for casting. Always appreciate it. Uh, New is always a fun team to play. Like always, look forward to those games. So uh, yeah, I hope they hope they had a good time too. I I know I know we did. Outstanding. I'm glad y'all did. So uh, what's next? What's the next matchup for y'all? Are y'all done? Uh, Hive Guard. So uh, yeah, tell, tell Maze we're we're coming. Wait, no, 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 because Niwi Siren said they had Hive Guard next, and Maze was like, no. So, Maze, since you're in chat, are you playing against TBD next? Wait for him to type. I'm sure he's a pecker. He doesn't type, you know, all professional. Unknown. Okay, so now he's playing the magic eight ball jiggly thing. You know, that door and shake we, it. And... I, think we, I think we just confirmed for next Thursday. So, in a so little Thursday week, of next we week. Yeah. Oh, man, I might be traveling that day. Damn. Yeah, anyway, so, well, okay then. Either way, again, thanks for jumping in here and doing a quick interview, Cosmo. As always, a pleasure to watch y'all fly and, and having some fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again for casting. Have a good one. You too. Okay, well, there we go with that. Therapy night and I help. I'm retired, unknown. I'm not even on the roster. I was kicked off for peds. Peds.
Right, what pads? Penile erectile dysfunction? Is that what pads is? Is penile erectile dysfunction? I I don't know. But what is pads? Yes. I guessed it. That was a fucking guess right there. That was a damn guess. Holy crap. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to celebrate that because, you know, I hear it's a bad thing. I'm sure one day in my elderly years I might experience something like that. But anyway, we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking, talking about, you know, the last of squadrons here. What a great matchup between Idiot's Array, a.k.a. TBD, and Niwi's Siren Squadron. Split it one to one. New Republic wins on both sides. Absolutely fun to watch and see. So, uh, what's up next on the SEL schedule? I have not a flipping clue because, well, looking here, nothing. Yeah, on the schedule, I got I got nothing upcoming. Zero upcoming on the schedule. Yep. All righty. Well, I'm gonna end it, and I think I'm gonna go do some flying myself since I'm here and ready to rock and roll so yeah y'all have yourself double a wing best a wing is that what it is uh a wing meta you know what i think we need to see all a wings and all tie interceptors let's see how that rolls something of that nature that'd be fun to see <laughs> all right everybody till then i hope everyone has a great rest of your evening and uh i will just see y'all on the flip side take care have fun you know, as always, be safe in doing what you do. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. What is that crap? That's not a button I should have hit. I shouldn't have hit that button. That's a weird button. What is that? That's weird. How does this thing work? Okay, I'm. see, this is where I'm still trying to figure stuff out. Is that it? Oh, all righty. So y'all have a good night. And we will see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have some fun. And remember, slap hands, motherfucker. <laughs>